and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and right now we're taking a look at the markets. And uh, despite the the blood in the streets, I feel good today. Just feeling good at the moment, and I'm here to uh, bring it to you straight. Got some news to talk about, but you guys are probably really wanting to know what's going on in the markets. Um, and uh, why are we seeing such a strong dip so shortly? Right now, we're looking at the GDAX last 24 hours against the USD dollar. Uh, you guys can see, as I mentioned yesterday, um, we were consolidating. Um, a very strong consolidation here. And I told you guys it's going to break out uh, up or down really strongly. Um, and it looks like we had quite a breakout downward. Um, so this is 24 hours. I'm going to bump on over here. Um, this is a five-minute uh, candlestick looking at the last 24 hours as well on Polonex. I like to look at Polonex, guys, because I think that it does a more accurate um, indication of what's going on in uh, the other markets uh, much more in real time. Just because of the sheer volume, it does a better job of trailing um, international markets. And um, I was super fascinated to, to sit here and wait uh, for the international markets to open today. And uh, funny enough, uh, they opened up and it's like nothing phased to them. There is no movement up and there's no movement down. So far, we're just moving horizontal again, starting a consolidation phase. So was this a drop down to a new consolidation level? Uh, potentially. Uh, we just got into this. We're only about an hour into the markets opening up over there. So we just want to hold on tight and see what happens here. Um, and hopefully we see uh, a little bit of correction upwards um, so that, you know, if you're holding through this, um, you can feel a little better today. Um, we could see uh, more downward pressure. Uh, we uh, have consistently been looking at a pullback for quite some time now. It's been going on for a full week, for almost a month now. To where we're seeing some serious corrections happening in the market. The overall market cap is uh, below 85 billion now and continuing to drop. And um, what? Uh, not not much to uh, say about that for me personally, um, other than uh, go seek your own uh, advice. There's great advice and really bad advice on the internet. Uh, it's really hard to decipher what's good and what's bad if you haven't been doing this very long. And if you're interested, um, you know, in technical analysis, I would encourage you to, to look at more technical analysis than people's opinions of what's going on. There's a lot of conspiracy theories happening right now to, um, you know, the ICOs and things like that. People saying that the ICOs are causing this. Some people with some actually very solid uh, potential proof of people moving their money to the exchange to sell off. Um, on GDAX today, there was a bot selling consistently every few seconds the same amount of Ether over and over and over again. Um, essentially, uh, people are claiming that's an ICO cashing out or something like that. I don't know if that's true. It could just be market manipulation, um, but some very interesting theories as to what's going on. So um, if, you, if, if that excites you, you just have to hop onto a Reddit um, and you can enjoy some conspiracy theories. Um, for sure. Uh, we'll take a quick look at um, Ethereum versus Bitcoin down a whole 8%, taking quite a dip as usual following the markets. Um, no true recovery. Very, very hard hammer down here on the cal uh, candle here earlier today. Um, if you guys notice, just wanted to point out one thing as well. Um, as you can see, when volume has picked up today, uh, volume means downward pressure. Uh, right now. So there's been a lot of volume. There was a little bit run up here, some type of belief system that maybe this is the rebound. Um, we'll have to wait and see if it's a true rebound and we continue to climb back up. Um, but only time will tell. So we will have to wait and see. And of course, we'll cover that tomorrow. So there's your quick market update. We'll jump into the news because there's not a whole lot and it's actually really hard to find. It is hard to find good news on days like today because people just want to talk about the markets and what's going on and have to dig really, really deep to bring it out to you guys. But um, there's a couple of interesting things. One in particular I did find on Reddit. Um, I could not find the original source. So I'm going to give all the credit in the world to Zing Garden. Zing Garden, you are the man for finding this. Um, Basically, the Australian Post, um, not 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 Australia, but Austral uh, the Austrian 
Post, I should say. Austrian is the right way to pronounce that. Austrian Post is essentially accepting uh, Ether now. And I'll go ahead and read this to you because it is a, it looks like a, a public statement. Um, the, the Post will become the hub for Bitcoins in the future. Customers in the 1800 post offices will be able to purchase Bitcoins and other digital currencies such as Ethereum. 50 euro, 100 euro, or 500 euro can be exchanged. Users then receive a code to use on their digital wallet at Bitpanda. Statement here um, is basically uh, they're saying that digital currencies will become um, central points of our daily lives. Um, they won't conflict with classical currencies, though, says Bitpanda co-founder Eric Demuth in a press release. Um, so super fascinating, right? So um, that somebody would say that the majority like to believe um, and want to believe that cryptocurrency will replace um, classic currencies. It, it remains to be seen. Uh, we'll have to just kind of wait and see. Uh, but there's so many currencies in the world. Um, it'll, it'll be interesting to see if, if Bitcoin just becomes another currency that you can kind of move in and out of. Um, if it truly becomes a one world currency or not um, at some point there's got to be some type of transition phase where maybe both exist if that were to ever happen um, to where I can use US dollar or Bitcoin pretty interchangeably um, but we're a long 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 ways from that on this side of the planet um, for those on the other side of the planet just waking up to listen to do news um, this isn't so far fetched many of you that um, uh, watch this channel use Bitcoin on the reg uh, here in America um, it's impossible to even find somebody uh, that enjoys using Bitcoin for anything so anyhow that is that on the uh, Austrian post office a golem uh, in the news again um, a golem is a, a world supercomputer concept if you're not familiar talk about it a lot um, they are going to be using the Ethereum platform to handle smart contracts, and essentially, um, it's going to allow you to rent out your processing power in the same way that uh, you know you can rent out your home on Airbnb. Um, uh, awesome concept, and uh, I really like the idea that it's going to allow me to sell processing power to people in the world who don't have access to processing power, and essentially enable them an opportunity to you know. Uh, create wealth for themselves, you know. Uh, you know, there's places in the world where people can't actually uh, learn um, because they don't have access to internet. The internet opens up a whole new world of learning, right? Um, you can't consider a career, um, a technical career, if you don't have uh, access to reliable internet, fast internet, things like that. Uh, and uh, even if you do, the next level would be actually having access to processing power um, to do some serious development. And um, so I'd like to think that someday I'm able to support someone far away in a country I've never heard of, um, actually have a legitimate opportunity at a legitimate career, and hopefully change the life of uh, that individual and that individual's family. So that's that's something I want to believe in. And um, there's other supercomputer um, concepts out there and processing uh, sharing concepts. Gridcoin is one as well. But Golem is in the news in particular. Um, uh, Forbes, Forbes.com, uh, Forbes magazine basically picked up the story finally. A little late to the game, Forbes, on this one. But because um, it's been around for a while. Um, but they actually did one of the best, um, if not the best, job explaining how it will work to the everyday person. So I really found it a great read. If you're still confused about how Gollum could work, or maybe you even know about Gollum, but no one's really explained it to you, I think they did an excellent job describing it. So just go ahead, and when the video's over, uh, you can Google that if you're interested, um, or maybe open up a new tab, and while you're listening, uh, check it out real quick. Um, so check out the Forbes article on Gollum. Jack's IO has announced a partnership with Changely. Uh, Changely is a decentralized, um, I don't know if it's really decentralized per se, but essentially you can um, transact, 
exchange your currency um, for many, many different currencies on Changely. You can kind of pick what you want to translate to. Very similar to uh, Shift. Um, but go check out Changely if you haven't checked out Changely. But essentially, it sounds like Jax is going to partner with them. And this is a good thing. Um, I was actually fantasizing about, hmm, what do I call do coin? What, what do I, if I were going to create a coin, what does do stand for? Decentralized exchange wallet. Oh, that's a good idea. How come there's no wallet where I have an actual exchange built into the wallet? Looks like Jax might be the first to really try to make that a reality in a mobile sense. They're one of the more popular wallets that have multiple wallets built in to the system. And that's really what we need, right? Um, is uh, some type of device that can uh, handle many, many different type of, uh, or software rather, that actually can manage all of your different wallets safe and securely and make it easy to transact. So Jax, IO and Changely uh, getting together to maybe make something really special. We'll have to wait and see. Right now it's only a partnership. A true merger would be a game changing um, and uh, that has potential in the future. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I'll just have to wait and see on this one. But um, I think that's a really relevant news. Despite all the blood today, I think this is some legitimate news, a true partnership that's going to get swept under the rug. But these are two really big players in the field. Um, and so, yeah, I also have a, a Changely link down below. Um, I get a little bit of, you know, commission on that when you use it. Um, honestly, not enough for you to care about. I actually had some people do it. Um, and uh, wow, man, they definitely skimp you on the commission uh, for for sending some people their way. Um, but I'm only saying that because if you go down uh, to the description, there you can actually find the right link to Changely um, and end up on the right, right website to check it out. So go ahead and uh, just check it out, see what it's like. Um, you can play with it a little bit and see what it's like to actually exchange different currencies. And it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. And, and, the, and the idea that that can actually be on my mobile phone in my wallet gets me a little excited uh, clearly, it's not ready to go right away, but uh, it sounds like that that intent is there, and that's exciting. And last but not least, let's see if I can find it. Ah, happy Prime Day. Uh, Prime Day is a, a wonderful phenomenon that Jeff Bezos, the Almighty, um, has created in all of his infinite wisdoms. Um and uh, if you're not familiar, uh, Prime Day is an Amazon-created holiday that they created. And um, you guys are probably like Jordash, uh, that's my real name, um, King of Dew. What the heck are you talking about Prime Day for? And, um, well, it's a big piece of my personal life. Uh, I do a lot of work um, on the Amazon platform as a digital marketer and things like that. And I think it's very, very fascinating in the way that they were able to create a holiday. Um, essentially, you guys know um, about Black Friday, and that's been a thing, and Black Friday kind of rolled over into the internet. Then we had this weird thing happen called Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, historically, was more of a derivative of um, all of the people placing orders over the weekend. Um, basically all of those online orders needed to be shipped that day. So it's more of a, uh, logistical, um, concept originally cyber, cyber, uh, Monday was, um, and we, it has grown to be some glorified type of day where you get all the great deals on Monday online. Um, but prime day, Jeff Bezos just kind of pulled it out of thin air and it's a fascinating holiday. Um, and I wouldn't really call it a holiday because we all had to work today, but fantastic deals on, on Amazon and, um, definitely go check it out. Anything that you've been uh, thinking about buying, um, uh, buy on prime day. And, um, you know, I think it's interesting, uh, that, you know, a corporation is so big that they're able to do something like this and, and they, and they've truly put pressure on other e-commerce websites um, and uh, have really created a day that's their own, right? On, on Cyber Monday, on Black Friday, they have to compete with other people, but this is their day. 
they own this day and they've done an excellent job marketing it. i want to give them some props on that for sure um and it's really exciting what they're doing how this relates to blockchain and cryptocurrency i still want to believe that this space that we're in is much much bigger than it is even though the markets are down today and maybe you're nervous and having anxiety today um we have such a long long ways to go and as you may know you know amazon broke a thousand dollars right um in their stock price and there are people claiming that amazon will be a the first trillion dollar company now they have a massive company with many different things that they do and this you know it's not just e-commerce they have cloud computing and things like that but i really want you to ask yourself about what you believe in today on on a day of red it's really time to do some soul searching really think about it because some of you may be thinking about getting uh getting off of some alts you've invested in some of you are probably even doubting things like Bitcoin and Ethereum. But let's not forget where we were just a few months ago. Anyone who's been here a while is still enjoying their gains. This, is not, this isn't a big deal. But today is a great day to think to yourself, when is, if, if, if Amazon, a company, can reach a, a, a trillion dollars, um why can't this industry think about all of the new technology all the new opportunity everything that's going on here i don't think it's far-fetched whatsoever but just like with amazon these things take time and we need to be patient i'm not here to tell people to hold i'm not here people to tell people to to sell i'm not here to tell people to buy on the dip all of those are great different types of strategies depending on your belief systems some of your belief systems are based on technical analysis some of it is based on just what people say in a reddit forum but all i know is this is that right now amazon is celebrating its own little holiday slash i don't know almost like it's a, its own birthday there will be a day where we're all sitting back celebrating the industry that is cryptocurrency and blockchain technology we may not coin a certain day but in the history books it may be the day when a particular currency finally cryptocurrency finally dominates the world will there be a, a, a final flip that happens where you know china makes the decision and then other countries come on board and all of a sudden there's a f giant flip super far-fetched super way out in the future right thinking way out into the future not something i believe that will happen in two three years is it something that could happen in 10 years anything is possible in 10 years could it be 20 would it even be in our lifetime i don't know I really don't know, but today is the kind of day where you really want to search your soul and ask yourself, do you believe in that kind of thing? If you don't, maybe cryptocurrency isn't for you. Maybe you're more of a blockchain person, right? Where you're more into the business and, and how it's going to change business and things like that right now. Or, or maybe you're not. Maybe you're not into that. So I want you to think about that today. And with all that being said, did any of you notice that these look like little uh, ethers? in the background looks like uh amazon is this a hint is this a jeff bezo hint you heard it here first guys on 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 the king of do newscast on do news ethereum all over prime day's homepage here at amazon.com coincidence i think not i opened a ticket with amazon this week and talked with a gentleman after it was done, I said, thank you so much for your help. Do yourself a favor, check out Ethereum. He said, I know what Ethereum is. My buddy just made a crap ton of money on Ethereum. <laughs> I wonder if his buddy decided to celebrate and throw some Ethereum 
are away. I wonder if Jeff Bezos is even aware. But looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? There's a little Ethereum bubbles back here. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Do News. I am your host, the King of Do. And if you like this content, make sure you subscribe for more. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'd um, love to hear what you think. Let me know what you bought on Prime Day. Make sure you use my link down below to Amazon and get a percentage of that, and it really helps my channel a lot. A lot of you have been using that, and thank you so much for using that. That's super cool. It's super cool to see that, um, that you guys are supporting the channel in that way. All it, all it takes is a click. So if you're going to buy something awesome on this Prime Day, click that for me. Help a brother out um, because my wife's going to kill me if I spend any more um, of uh, our hard-earned money on this channel. So uh, there's things I wanna I wanna buy, guys. I, I I need I need to pay for you know intro video and things like that. I need to do those things, and I, it's on my roadmap. So that's what it's going to help help improve the channel, um, improve the quality, and uh, hopefully and really spread the good news of uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. So we'll continue to do that together, guys. I uh, appreciate you so much, and I hope you guys are having a great Prime Day. And uh, with that being said, I am the king of dew. May the force be with you.